Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Minecraft Technic Let's Play. This is the Woodbury World, and this is part 12. And I have made a video here for a while, um, but I did come up with... Uh, I did come up with a, um, a design for my place in here. Although, I wasn't planning on making this a permanent type place, but it's actually coming out quite nice so I think I might make this a little bit more permanent than I I had in mind whoops so first thing we're gonna do is clear out some more of this here ooh iron me likey iron it looks like we have hold on a sec let me, let me get a, a handle here mentally what I got here alright so it looks like this could be a, a level yeah, this is a level. This is where all the mechanical wires and stuff go. And this is another level. So it looks like I have two levels. I think they're probably going to be levels of machinery. Um, first thing we got to do is just is just clear some stuff out. You know what the first thing we really got to do is make a damn alchemy bag. I can't believe I don't have one yet. Um... I gotta stop playing this and not not playing it for a while, because <laughs> I'm getting confused, like on why I wasn't doing certain things and what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. Um, first of all, bag. It looks like I was looking at an alchemy bag last time. Okay, so we're gonna need the wool. About the alchemical chest. We're gonna need diamonds. Okay, did we get any diamonds? It doesn't look like we got diamonds. Maybe we're going to mine. I remember mining last time. I didn't get any diamonds? That seems awful. Yeah, I don't think I got any diamonds. Well, it looks like we're going to have to go mine again. Alright, let's go mining. Uh, we got everything we need. Yeah, got everything we need. Alright, so let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this was a good place to mine. Okay, alright. So, we're going to mine right here. We'll just start him right here, just for symmetrical purposes. Um, not sure how much coal you actually need to give him. Let's just give him one and see how far he goes. Alright, so he's going to do his thing. Uh, we need to find out the next place he's going to want to mine. Um, this place. Yes, he's gonna mine there. I never finished this one, did I? Did I? Nope, I didn't. Alright, so let's finish this up while he's doing his thing. What we'll do is we'll just go to the end and come back. There's some diamond. Alright, so we'll just have him... I actually have diamond, that's good. So we'll just have him do uh, one pass, and then we'll come back and we'll get that alchemy bag made. It's really important we get that alchemy bag. Um, a lot of people were saying they're not against equivalent exchange. A lot of people were saying I should go for um, MK1s or MK2s. Uh, one thing I don't like about MK1s or MK2s, I don't like having the the, the light, uh, the uh, glowstone on top. I think it's pretty lame. Um, so if I do decide, I haven't, I haven't made up my mind yet about this, but if I do decide to do MK1s or MK2s, I'm gonna not allow myself to use the glowstone on top, just, you know, not because of any balancing issues, just because I, you know, I don't like the way it looks, I think it's kind of stupid. Um, honestly, I'd be okay with not using any collectors, but I was thinking about it uh, the other day, and my energy supply is very dependent on... Uh, energy collectors to get the uh, to get the um the what you might call it uh, yeah, uh, well for those of you that don't know I'll just go start from the beginning for those of you that don't know the way I get my main energy supply is I make a um, an energy c condenser and then I put a collector next to it usually an MK3 although I won't I will not use MK3s on this world. Uh, even if I decide to use collectors. But anyway, I would put an MK3 next to it, and I would have it continuously pumping out um, uh, lava cells. And I would I would put, like, a system that pulls the lava cells out and sends them into a, an array of... Uh, I'm sorry, my brain's fried today. Uh, an array of... Uh, uh, 
uh, geothermal generators. And in that way, I would get, I would have my power supply. Um, I'm not sure if that could be considered cheating. Um, it's pretty easy to set up, and it is unlimited energy. Maybe it is considered cheating. I, I don't know. But I really like it. Um, I can't make up my mind here. Like, what, if I want to use MK... Like, I was thinking maybe MK2s with no no uh, glowstone. But I could get power some other way. You know what? I'm making, I'm making a call right here. Absolutely no energy collectors. I'm going to get my power a different way. Um, I've already done the uh, collector's condenser making the uh, making the um, the lava cells and pumping them into uh, geothermal generators. I've done that. Um, it works very well, but the problem is once you've built one, your power supplies, you've got all the power you're ever going to need. Um, and it's renewable. It never goes away. That's, I think, the main problem. So, I think I'm going to look for power supplies in other places. Um, I have a couple ideas. I could always, uh, I could always, I was thinking maybe I could, uh, well, I'm telling you one thing I'm going to do. I will be running, uh, what do you call it? So, man, my brain is fried today. I don't know why. It's Friday, so that's cool. But, yeah, my brain is just blech, mush. So, I'm going to be stumbling through a lot of this. Anyway, uh, I will be doing a lot of quarries in this game. That's for damn sure. Crap, am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. Got turned around. Well, this one's done anyway, so boom, you're done. Uh, so I will be doing a lot of quarries. Um, I think there's other ways to get electricity in this, in tech, in technic that you don't have in tech it. Um, give me a second. I'm going to finish lighting this up, and then I'll, I'll show you some. So you can see right here, let's take a look at engines. See, we got a uh, regular electric engine. That uh, that might be an engine that just gives you never-ending electricity. It seems a little overpowered if it works the way I think it works, but I'm not sure how they work. I won't ever use combustion engines. They blow up too much. Um, probably won't use steam engines either. I definitely use redstone engines for certain things, but these electric engines, i got to do some research on those. That might be one way I could get uh, power. Uh, another way I could get power is, I could, like I said, I could run... Um, I also got to figure out how I'm going to transport the power. Um, I, see, uh, this stuff gets really complicated. And I don't have a handle on the way I'm going to do things yet. This is going to be a very sloppy Let's Play. But a lot of you guys, you know, voicing concerns that uh, you think my new stuff isn't as good as my old stuff. A sloppy Let's Play is definitely old school cage. So, you know, maybe that'll help you guys feel a little bit more uh, at home here I, I, watching these videos. But, yeah, um, I kind of forgot. All right, there's, a, there's a couple different ways you can move electricity. One, there's a, there's a, there's a, a system uh, that I've built and works flawlessly that you basically charge Lapatron crystals and send those through um, ender chests. I don't know how ender chests work in single player. Um, I think they work the way they work in multiplayer, which means uh, you can have ender chests and you can color code them to like uh, to send stuff to certain ender. It's hard to explain. Like, let's say you have an ender chest. Okay, an ender chest just off, right off the bat is an ender chest, and any ender chest you make w will be connected to that one, and that's it. That's the end of that. But what you can do is you can color code them so they'll send them to, to certain color codes. Like if I have ender if I have an ender chest and I color code it red, then it'll send it to any ender chests that are color coded the same color red. Um, yeah, actually that makes total sense. You should you should be able to follow that. And I think that's the way it still works. Let's take a look. Ender. Yeah, see those things on top. You you should be able to color code them. Um, I know you couldn't tech it, and I know you couldn't single player tech it. I know you couldn't multiplayer tech it. This is technic. You probably still can, but that's a good way of of moving electricity around the world. It's probably the best way, honestly. You get zero loss. Maybe I'll just do that because you get zero loss and it's foolproof and it works flawlessly. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna use that. Yeah, yeah, definitely gonna do that. There's another um, hitch with that, though. Uh, I want my quarries to run on 
uh, I want my quarries to run on a specific kind of electric. Um, it's basically what you could do is you can take. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm not quite sure how it works. But you could take um, buildcraft. But buildcraft is what is buildcraft? Is buildcraft yeah, industrial craft is electric, and build craft is a, is a different kind of power. I don't know what it's called. Um, industrial craft is one I like. That's EU. That's electric. That's uh, that's the main one I use. But that is not what you use to run quarries. But it, you you can make certain items like an energy link and some other item, and it transfers the 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 power from one to another. So you can. And the the best way to run a quarry is to use the damn i haven't done this in so long i forget but if you do it right it runs super fast and that, i want to do it right um uh, so yeah so that one's done all right we've got everything we need down here i can't remember i remember i had my geothermal generators in my last world my geothermal generators were feeding into an energy link that was being sent to my quarry so it was being, it was being, oh yeah, no, that's, that's it. It was basically my, my geothermal generators were being fed into an energy link uh, because once they go through the energy link, the, the electric can be teleported. That's right. And then I would bring that teleported power, which is already build craft. Once it goes into the energy link, it turns, it turns into a build craft power supply, power source. And build craft is what you use to power the quarries. I believe I'm I'm getting that right. Um, okay, enough about that. Let's get to work. Um, bag. Bag. Okay, we need one of each of those smooth stone, iron, a chest. Um, one of each. Before we do that, let's do this. I did have diamonds. Oh man. Anywho, um, all right. So let's uh, we're, we're keeping our cobble. Do I have any smooth stone? There it is. I need iron. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. All right, we don't have any ready-made iron, so we'll just have to chill for a minute. Tin, silver. You know what, while we're waiting for that iron, we should probably make an iron furnace. I mean, an electric furnace. In which case, we need iron furnace, which we need a bunch of iron for. <laughs> All right, what else do we need for it? Uh, electric circuit. All right, we need a bunch of copper cables. Do we have any copper cables? You know what? I don't remember seeing any. There's some. Let's eat some bread. All right. So we have some copper cables. That's not enough. Um, I think I saw some... Sticky resin somewhere. It's not a lot of sticky resin. Um, oh, you can always get sticky resin like this. Now, we don't want to use the sticky resin too much. Be actually, we should make a, an extractor. Honestly, because that's what we need to get more sticky resin out. So we're going to need an electronic circuit, which we need more of these anyway. I don't think we need anything else, though. Yeah, we don't need... All right, we don't need... We only need one more copper cable. And I'm hoping... There's more sticky resin. I'm hoping we have some... Yeah, you know what? There we go. This will work. No, nope. it's got to be three. One, two, three... There we go. Okay, and now what do we need? We needed uh, yeah, 
And we're going to need one refined iron for that and eight more for that. So we're going to need nine refined iron. So we're going to need we're going to need more iron in there. Not too much more, but a little bit more. I'm saving the the ores for a reason because I'm going to set up a little factory, a mini factory using buildcraft pipes, and I kind of want to save it for that. Put some more in there. We could always use some. Oh wow, we actually have a full suit of iron. That's good. Okay. What did I say? Nine? Nine refined iron? Six? Seven, eight, nine. You know, just make it all. It's daytime out. Let's go. Let's go up there while we're waiting for that stuff and see what's going on upstairs. Whoops. Should probably fix that. I'm gonna cobble on me. Screw it. much going on up here. Might as well look around for trees. I think we were looking for a specific kind of tree. And while we're looking, we can also get some food. Was I looking for jungle trees? Not sure. Because I wanted to build some by my house. So I'd have, like, never-ending, you know, wood. Although, this, these trees aren't that far away. We're going to use that lava. I'll tell you that right now. It's getting dark already? Man, I thought I had more time. I'm not sure if I'm going to pump that lava out or take it out with, uh, with um, lava cells by hand, but I will use that lava. Alright, I didn't have a lot of time out there, but I think I got a good amount done. Got a bunch of food and a bunch of wood. Not like it's hard to get that wood like that, but... What we have to do is make some fencing and start fencing this area off so we can come up here and work during the day when we want to. Pretty weird place I built here. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all come together. All right, let's take this stuff. Ooh, that wasn't done. Well, that was a waste. We left, and what we wanted to finish didn't even get finished. Um, okay, it doesn't matter because we can make the electric circuit. We need. We have everything we need. Okay, now we just need three more refined iron, and there it is. And we'll make the whatever it is, I guess machine block or something. Yep, 
get machine block. Okay. And that just happens to be my timer. So that is going to be it for part 12. And we'll see you next time for part 13. Till then, take it easy.